Hi, I'm Cynthia. And I'm Chris. And we're the Hanye family. And for those of you who are new here, welcome. Let's enjoy some great music together. Yeah, so what do we got today for our Goonies? Well, today we're going to do some divinals. Yeah. Yeah, this is a song called Elsie. We're doing a live version of it. Yeah. Because it was requested. Besides, you all want to see her anyway, right? Likely, yeah. Chrissy Amphlett. I know. <laughs> well, uh, the people who have asked for it are IBD5300, Warren Bridges, Caitlin Batt, Elizabeth Catches Waves, Stuart Howison, and Gary Speed. Okay. So, fair crowd. Yeah. We always do like some divinals, so hopefully this will be no exception. I'm sure. Yep. We almost, all, well, I don't think there's any that we didn't like. Not really, no. I don't think. Yeah. I think we were really impressed every time. She's, Chrissy's Divinals a great singer. Are awesome. Divinals are a great band. Yeah. And they really work well with Chrissy. So it just, it always sounds good. Yeah, definitely. So we're, we're very interested in getting into more. And we all know you boys like to look at uh, Chrissy. Well, of course. I get it. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Yeah. When I was a teenager, I saw her for the first time and went, wow. <laughs> So I understand. Yeah, of course. So let's get into this. This is The Vinyls with Elsie.
This is insane, right? Yeah. Very angsty and depressing. Like, it's about depression. I, I think I so, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Like, a, la- a person who <clears throat> never had any affection, mm-hmm. you know, didn't know how to really relate to people other than with rejection. Yeah. Because that's just what she was used to, being rejected. Mm-hmm. And she was afraid of confrontation, so she would talk to herself to try and calm the mm. the anger down or what have you. Yeah. And she took little pills to make herself numb. Yeah. You know. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, pretty depressing. And now she's going into the audience. Yeah. yeah, it says life can be very sad and lonely, which... Hmm. that's kind of what the person's going through, I guess. Yeah. Kind of struggling with depression and angst and anxiety. Yeesh. Yeah. Um, I know that we're, few of her motions were really odd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean, she's quite the performer and yeah. the whole band is so good. I noticed the backup vocals were really nice on that too. Mm-hmm. It's just, it was subtle, but it was really good. Mm. You know what I mean? It's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. This is, you know, it's good we did this live. Yeah. Just because her performance is crazy. Yeah. That's really what it's about, right? I mean, yeah. she's, if you don't see what she's doing, and I'm sure the audio, I, we were going to do the studio version, but uh, because nobody really asked for that except for one person. So I think the one person was right, though. Yeah. It's better to see it because you're not, you're, you're just going to get, you know, the, the you're going you're gonna to enjoy the band course yeah and you're gonna enjoy her singing but you're not gonna see the real her singing style is different on this one too yeah it's quite different like i'm catching little bits of maybe bjork or kate bush kind of feel to it just yeah. the way that she does the higher notes and stuff yeah it's just different you know at that time though i don't know how popular bjork would have been i wouldn't know <laughs> maybe kate bush i think kate bush she had a That's pretty good following likely. right into the 70s it's so. more likely that would be somebody that she had listened to yeah you know but i don't know for sure i just know that that's the same kind of vocal styling that it reminded me of i don't know maybe she listened to peter garrett I don't know. <laughs> what do I know? no but those high notes are very similar to what you would hear from kate bush or bjork this is true you know this is true yeah all right well Right now she's going in to yell at the audience. So <laughs> let's go see that. All right.
I bet you she freaked people out with that performance. Probably. Some yeah. people, for sure. I mean, obviously, the lipstick was kind of symbolic. Mm -hmm. You know, writing, mm -hmm. uh, drawing all over her face and arms with red lipstick and then smearing it yeah. on her arms and stuff. It was kind of a symbolic thing, I think, for the character, you know? I think so, yeah. Just Completely off her rocker. Yeah. The but character, I mean, not Chrissy. Well, I don't know if Chrissy's crazy, but... Maybe. <laughs> yeah. But, but that she was does great. crazy very well. Oh, for sure. Yes. This is a well, a performance art piece for hers, right? I mean, it's very well it's a done. A little bit different. I, maybe she does this in all her her uh, concerts. Possibly. Likely. Yeah. But um, that guitarist was awesome. Oh yeah. He, he just went right off. Oh yeah. It he was went, fantastic. He went off. It was really good. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It really kind of fit in perfectly, and her bouncing around the stage. Yeah, her performances are always so crazy and like amazing. Stomping down, bang. bang <laughs> Anything we've seen her do is always kind of crazy and really good. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But this was different for her, too. She just literally was screaming into the audience a few times. Mm -hmm. I was like, whoa, that's not something I've seen her do before. Yeah, it's probably good that we did the live <clears throat> version because definitely, you know, you're not going to see that. Yeah. The only thing, of course, is we're going to have to do a revisit because now I'm definitely curious as to what the regular studio version is like. Yeah, me too. It was a little longer, so I wonder yeah. if maybe there's some kind of extra, you know, verses or whatever. Well, because something, it, it seemed to end quickly, at, like this one. Yeah, it, it seemed off like right there, there might be maybe more. Maybe there was more. Yeah. But I mean, who knows? We'll have to check that out later. Yeah. I'm sure everybody will let us know if it's worth checking the studio version as well yeah but this was pretty darn good i think it was quite interesting for sure yeah and i don't mean interesting in the way you guys think we intriguing. say intriguing it was intriguing fascinating yeah. <laughs> you just know? because we say interesting doesn't mean we don't like it I mean, just sometimes so you know. it is interesting <laughs> Som sometimes it is interesting sometimes it's interesting but this was fantastic we always do love the divinals mm -hmm. so this they're great yeah. yeah, definitely. So thank you very much for that suggestion. It was most definitely appreciated. Please don't forget to check us out on Patreon. It's $3 a month and we're adding things there all the time. Mm -hmm. We also have a P.O. box if you're interested. The information's in all our descriptions of the videos. Mm -hmm. um, like and subscribe to the channel and become one of our goonies. Share with your family and friends. Click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later.